Now what we're going to do is do another preview of our animation and then we're going to look at the properties of that animation to see how we can make it a little faster. I'm going to hit return to see what the animation looks like. And I kind of like how slowly this arm is going up, but I want to go a little faster with that. Let's go ahead and look at it again. You can also see I modified the poncho a little bit by going back to the drawing view and erasing some of that and drawing a black line. So what I want to do is I want to go to my file menu and I want to look at the animation properties. The animation properties tell me that this frame per second rate is 12. 12 frames per second, which means that every frame is 1 12th of a second. What we need to do now is look at our timeline. Well, we have animation happening very quickly, but we need to go a little faster on some locations. So what I want to do is I want this forearm to move a little bit more quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the forearm and make sure I have the right one, which is the left. The left forearm, and I want to look at how long it's taking. Look at this. This is really long as far as the duration. I'm going to go ahead and scrub the uh, timeline and see that this is taking too long to get where it has to go. I want this arm to be up right about here. So I'm going to click on the last frame of this animation here and I'm going to just drag that uh, keyframe when I get the double headed arrow and we're going to move that over like so. And that's how we can adjust the timing of our animation. Let's go ahead and do a play review by clicking up here and we can see the animation play back in the actual timeline itself. It's not exact and it's a little slower, but we can see that it looks a little bit more natural because both arms should not exactly reach the same apex at the same time. They should take a staggered approach so it looks more realistic. But this arm too is going a little too slow, so let's see what's going on with that. I'm going to grab the right forearm peg. Let's move up a little bit, make sure we have the peg. And I want to move that up too. See, this is taking too long as well, so I'm going to have this guy and sooner as well by dragging it. And I'm going to hit return to see the preview of the new animation. That looks great. Now the hand is taking a little too long to get where it has to go so we're going to adjust that as well. Let's go ahead and look at it again. Pay attention to the left hand. The gun is still moving a little bit so we want that to stop as well. So we're going to go to where that is and that should be the left hand and as you see it's taking too long to get where it has to go as well and it takes a little practice to see how a long or short animation should take to occur and the good thing is there's no right or wrong to it so just you know play around there's no right or wrong answer to this nothing can be exact when it comes to animation you have to eyeball it I'm gonna hit return and let's test out this new sequence and that looks much much better than it did when we first started out a little bit more responsive it could still be faster, of course. We can have the hands really get up there quickly if he's a real quick drawer. And we could even make that go as far as like going out the five frames. But for now, that's going to suit our purposes just fine. Feel free to continue to tweak the animation and even add more animation frames to the cloak so that it's really moving back and forth in the wind if you want to. Just go to the uh, poncho layer and on the peg, just choose another frame and just move it around a little bit like so. And go to another frame and move it around. Make sure you have, of course, the a transform tool selected, which I did not have selected. Let me go ahead and move that. Move the poncho, and that adds a frame for us automatically. It'll always add a keyframe for us. And this will make the poncho just have a little bit more of a dynamic motion to it when we actually look at the preview. Great. Now we're ready to use the function editor to go ahead and make some spin on these revolvers.